2022 Audi RS3 first test, properly special, numbers be damned. They're the last of their kind. Several of the world's greatest and most powerful engines in history are about to meet their maker, the naturally aspirated V12 of Ferrari's 812 series of cars, the Lamborghini Huracan's V10, and the insane quad-turbo W16 of the Bugatti Chiron. Sad times to be sure, but those engines power astronomically priced supercars more than $5 million in the case of the Chiron. What about something more attainable? Something like, say, the engine under the hood of the 2022 Audi RS3, the sportiest and most powerful version of Audi's subcompact A3 sedan lineup. It's the car that quite possibly will be the final resting place of Audi's 2.5-liter turbo i5, the only remaining five-cylinder engine in the industry. And at just under $75,000 as tested, it's borderline cheap for something with that level of exclusivity. Given it's also likely the last of its kind, we were hoping for better test numbers from the RS3 and its unique five-banger, but on balance this is still an exceptional sports sedan. The car and its fabulous five-pack. Turbo 5s hold a special place in Audi lore, it's the engine configuration that powered the Mark's legendary Quattro S1 Rupee rally car of the mid-1980s. Audi recently revisited the formula, fitting a modern version of the 5-pot to the previous generation RS3 and TTRS. The latest RS3 benefits from a slight reworking of the engine that generates a single additional horse and 15 extra LBFT of torque for peak output of 401 horsepower and 369 LBFT. Like its predecessor, the 2022 RS3 sedan pairs the unique power plant with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and Audi's Quattro AWD system, but there's a tweak to the latter. Instead of the old rear virtual torque vectoring system, which would pinch one of the rear brake discs to send power to the opposite wheel, the new RS3 implements a pair of clever variable lockup clutch packs. Of the 50% of engine torque routed to the rear axle, all of it can now be sent instantly to either wheel. That level of torque vectoring enables a drive mode Audi calls RS Torque Rear, which directs all the power it can to the outside rear wheel to initiate rotation. That's right, this front drive based subcompact luxury sedan has a whole hog drift mode, Yahoons. RS3 0 to 60 and a quarter mile, same as before. We'd never condone such tomfoolery on a public road, but in a controlled environment, the RS3's new drive mode is a riot. Our Skittle Green test car was a pro at shaking its rear end around when throttle was mixed with steering lock near the limit of grip, doing so with confidence and predictability. When taking notes for this review, the dictation on our phone misread Torque Rear as Torque Career, such a fault has never been more appropriate. As for the raw test data, we recorded basically the same numbers as the last RS3 we tested. The 2022 RS3 delivered the same 3.6 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour time as its 2017 predecessor and an identical 12.1 second quarter mile, though the new car crossed the line at a marginally faster 113.9 miles per hour. Braking from 60 miles per hour took 108 feet with help from carbon ceramic front discs, the old car accomplished the same a foot later. It's when we started turning the tiller that the new car fell behind. On the skid pad, average lateral acceleration topped out at 0.92 average G and the 2022 RS3 lapped our figure 8 course in 25.1 seconds at 0.76 average G. We've achieved similar numbers in a Genesis G73.3T, previous-gen Subaru WRX STI, and an EcoBoost Mustang. Most damning, our test of the 2017 RS3 recorded 0.95 average lateral G, and that car ran through the figure 8 in 24.4 seconds at 0.82 average G. We attribute the discrepancy to surface temperature and tire pressure. Road test editor Chris Walton mentioned in his notes that the front tires got greasy as he piled on the laps, 
and their pressure readings climbed to 52 psi by the time he pulled in. Unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to lower them and try again. We suspect the RS3 could achieve far better results on its optional Pirelli P0 Trofeo or rubber. But sometimes it's not all about the numbers. Walton's driving impressions were loaded with plaudits for the new RS3, such as, what a proper rally car this is. He called the power addictive and praised the way the Audi's chassis and powertrain tuning allowed for easy rotation on or off power. The test team also noted the brakes felt like they could haul down a linebacker despite a spot of squish at the top of the pedal travel. The whole experience was wildly entertaining, and it doesn't stop when you leave the track. Rally Rules If you ever get the chance to drive an RS3, please proceed directly to the tightest, twistiest section of road available. If it's a highway drive away, know that you're in for some significant tire and road noise at 80 miles per hour, but also know the Turbo 5's 401 horses are capable of compressing the seat foam behind you if you feel compelled to make a high-speed pull. The RS3 even rides well. Not at the level of a similarly priced non-RS Audi, but there's just as little gut jiggle and head toss here as in the base A3. That's impressive considering the RS3's level of body control, not to mention its giant wheels. But once you reach the road spaghetti, that's when you're in for the real treat. Audi dialed a massive amount of grip into the RS3's front end, and its front tires are actually wider than the rears, like a Civic Autocrosser, so it's ready to rally. The more we chucked it around, the more it gripped. We pushed and pushed and pushed the RS3 into ever tighter bends, and it begged us to go harder. As soon as we could see our exit point, we stomped on the throttle as the torque shuffled between the rear wheels, applied a momentary dash of opposite lock, then straightened the quick ratio helm in time for the next apex. Shifts from the dual clutch are sharp and immediate. Upshifts kick you in the back in the sportiest drive mode, one of many reminders alongside the outrageous Kyalami green paint, contrast stitched octagonal quilting on the seats, and use of Alcantara that the RS3 lives under the same umbrella as its Lamborghini cousins. Oh, and the engine? The Turbo 5 wails like a mic'd up Wookiee that stubbed its furry toe. A deep, rising baritone is overlaid with a high-pitched song, it's unlike anything else on the road. The closest thing is the V10 in the Audi R8 and Huracan, but those are different beasts at very different price points, plus they can't be had with four doors. You could achieve similar straight-line performance from Golf R, but it couldn't match the soundtrack. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.